All right, welcome guys to a windy afternoon here in Ayotia. Don't know if you're gonna be able to hear very good, but uh, we're at Wat Casetrat, something like that, worry. And anyway, it's like the Temple of the King. And uh, we're gonna take a look around here. This is a like what they call a third class temple of the second grade. And it's still an active temple. It was built in the middle Ayutthaya period. And it was uh, leveled by the Burmese when the Burmese came in. And uh, it was restored during the reign of Rama I. His nephew came and restored this whenever it was the Bangkok era. So it was restored in the late 1700s. And so anyway, we'll go take a look and we'll see what we see. Okay, so right here, we're right on the Chow Praia River, and then you can see that chetty over there. And uh, I made a video from that a while back, and I saw this temple across the river, and I was like, oh, I'll go over there and take a look at that. So I came over here today. So anyway, this is the former Lopbury River, and they redirected the, uh, the Chow Praia, and it's the, the current uh, route of the Chow Praia River. And people come down here, and they feed these fish right next to the temple. You can see them. They got like a little red fin. They're, I'm not sure what kind of fish these are. Normally you see the Mekong catfish. So these people right here, they have all these fish in these bags and they're going to release them into the river. That's a way that uh, ties will make merit by the temple. They'll feed the fish or they'll release the fish. Like the little snakes, the fish, the turtles, all of that. And the river is quite high today. You can see the, the water level. And it looks like it's going to rain. Which uh, Last time I came to Ayatia it rained. So hopefully it will hold off today. Now, when this uh, temple was destroyed, it was destroyed by the Burmese whenever they came here to capture Ayutthaya. And what they did is they pretty much leveled everything so they could set up their cannons to fire at Ayutthaya. Right across the river was the city of Ayutthaya. And so they came here and they uh, sieged it and shot the cannons and then they eventually captured it. And then they controlled it and they basically looted everything and took everything back into uh, Burma. Now, on the current site, most of the stuff that you see is new. So they have this right over here. This is a Buddhist school. It's a pretty nice uh, building. And I guess this uh, this uh, temple is really famous for having uh, like uh, the Buddha instruction. The uh, King uh, Narasawan, his, uh, his teacher, was the one that kind of founded the school here. So it's been, you know, centuries that they've had a, like a tradition of having the school here. So all of this stuff is new over here, but the, the prong and like the prayer hall and everything, that is uh, the restored part. And it dates back to uh, the middle IoT up here. There, nobody really knows exactly when this was built, just like most everything on IoT. All the records were destroyed. You know, the buildings were basically destroyed also and they had to all be rebuilt. So uh, they think it's maybe like the mid 1400s to early 1600s, somewhere in there. There's no real record of it. But it's quite a nice, uh, nice complex. And the prong you can see is the, uh, like the Khmer style, which is really nice. That's what I mainly wanted to come here to see. Okay, so in this little wee hand, they have some of the Buddhist statues. And then they have the statue of the uh, old man monk that was the, the teacher of King Nero So this guy's right on the sticks. Gonna get his fortune. And of course, like most temples, you can buy like the uh, ceiling tiles. You can buy the rice for the monks and the needy. This is still an active temple, so you have the monks here doing stuff. So you go over there and get your blessing by him. And then they have uh, another building here. So here they have the Buddha prayer wheel on the marker stone. I think they call that the uh, Sina. And then they uh, have the Buddha here. And then it's right in front of this hall, which is pretty nice. So this is one that goes back to uh, the middle Ayutthaya period. You can see they've uh, fixed it up pretty nice. The nephew of King Rama I was the one that uh, was responsible for restoring this. And you can see the marker stones. Now there's supposed to be like, I think seven of them and then they bury 
one underneath the Buddha inside of this building. You can see the Buddha statue there. Let's go in. They got this marble on the base of this, which is pretty nice. Okay, so they got some kind of ceremony going on in there. So I'll come back over to it here in a bit. So this is the outside of the main prayer hall, which is pretty cool. It's a nice building for sure. Still in good shape. They got all this marble tile down here to where you when you walk around. But it's uh, gets pretty hot. It's cloudy today and it's still really hot. And then this is what I came here to see. So the prong right there. Now it's uh, been restored. And it used to have Buddha images in there, but now they've uh, taken those out and they have kind of like a little, like a chetty thing in those little notches up there. And you can see how it looks. It's quite nice. This is definitely eye catching. This is why I came over here is just to see this building. So this is a nice view of it without those wires. Uh, the plaster is kind of sloughing off of it in a few places. And you can see the birds that have nested up there but it's quite, quite nice. And then they have the four Buddhas around in the cardinal directions. And then you can see this, this is a nice view of this uh, building. And then uh, the other little wee hands with some of the little chetties and everything. And so the little prong right there, they talk about the styling of it and how it's not as streamlined as some that you see in the later periods. So that's kind of what tells everybody that this is a, like a middle Ayutthaya temple. So I don't know how much of this was restored, but I'm sure uh, probably the majority of it was whenever they redid this in the late 1700s. And you can see the building here, some of the paint's coming off and it, it will need to be touched up pretty soon, but it's uh, still really fantastic. You can see the wood and up there on the eaves is kind of starting to rot out a little bit. But it's still definitely uh, really nice. They have a lot of bells and everything clanking away. Okay, so uh, the little thing they had going on is almost done. So I came back inside here and you can see these are the main Buddhas. And then over here, have the monk on his phone. So you can get a blessing if you would like from him. Make the donations to the temples. Now, I guess the king's Ramanine's daughter, it looks like Ramanine even might have came here to this temple. And then you can see the pillars have the marble and everything. So there's six pillars on each side. So they do take up quite a bit of space on the inside. Doesn't make it as usable. Okay, so this other building over here has the, uh, has the Buddha footprint. And you can see it has a couple of the standing Buddhas. Okay, so this is pretty nice in here. The, the building itself is kind of plain. You can see it has the two Buddhas that are standing and then the Buddha footprint. So this gives it the title of Praha, which it has this and uh, Rama 9, Rama 10, the new king, the whole family came here. So uh, you can see pictures of them. It was when Rama 9 was pretty young and he came with the, with the whole family to this temple. Okay, so the front of this uh, prayer hall here, you can see it has a door on each side of, of the building and then it has the door in the middle where it has uh, the Buddha standing there. And I guess that's the door reserved only for the king. So there's no stairs or anything. So only the king is allowed to come and go there. And then it has a little bit more of the temple grounds over here. So this is the crematorium. So if anybody dies, they, uh, they'll burn the body here and they'll have all the funerals and everything. All right, guys, so that finishes up our little tour of this temple. Wat Kasatarat Warwihan, or however you say it. It's pretty cool. I like the uh, the main hall with the three doors and I like the uh, the prong in the back. It's still in really good shape for uh, you know how old it is and all of that and again like they don't know exactly how old it is. 
all those records were lost when the Burmese destroyed everything. So hopefully guys, you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Share it with your friends and leave me a comment. If you like it, tell me what you think. If you want me to do something different, tell me also. So as always guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy.